New scrutiny tonight about the Nashville man who says he's sorry for hiding loaded guns inside the walls of the downtown detention center. Our chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley was there when Alex Friedman was sentenced today to 40 years in prison. And Jeremy, how did Friedman react? Well, Marius, he didn't. He remained calm and showed no emotion. He did, for the first time, though, since his arrest, speak about why he did it, knowing there are plenty of people who don't believe him. No excuses. I realized that what I did was not rational or reasonable. Rather, an explanation from Alex Friedman why he dressed up like a construction worker to hide loaded weapons in the walls of the downtown detention center. I know it may be hard for people to understand or accept. Claiming while as a prisoner in the old jail, he was repeatedly sexually assaulted and planted the weapons in the new jail in case he was arrested again so he could defend himself. I did not intend for the weapons and other contraband hidden at the jail to be used by anyone other than myself. And it's bizarre. As Judge Steve Dozier sentenced Friedman to the maximum 40 years in prison for felony vandalism, Dozier referenced these photos of the 26 additional guns, body armor, and grenade pouches found in Friedman's home. Remember, Friedman was already a convicted felon, forbidden from even possessing a single gun. 26 guns can't be used all at one time but one person. All the body armor is not just for one person. The worst case scenario is there's still something to come. Former Metro police officer turned explosives expert Kenneth Elkins first arrested Friedman in the 90s and suspects all of the weapons were intended to be used by other people. I honestly believe that there is much more to it, or at least there was much more going to happen. Well, Jeremy, still so many questions here. I've got to ask you, where did he get the weapons? And what about the security video of the people serving as lookout for Friedman while he was planning these guns? Yeah, Marius, we still don't know where he got the guns. He hasn't yet been sentenced for being a felon in possession of a weapon. That'll happen soon in federal court. As for those other people, they were never charged, investigators say. They were likely day laborers that Friedman hired to serve as lookouts and didn't know what Friedman was mm. doing. The judge today expressed doubts about that, too. Marius. A lot of people expressing those doubts. Jeremy mm -hmm. Finley, thank you. Right now, Metro Police are trying to...